Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going over how to start reselling in 2021. Now, you know, the turn of the new year, we're almost there and you guys may have some goals to start a side hustle and make some a little extra income and this is a perfect side hustle you guys can do that you can turn into a full-time job if you take it serious enough. Uh, so that way, any time and let's hop into it. So first thing off, you have a starting budget. Now, uh, like a realistic starting budget is 50 to $100. Um, I would advise you guys maybe to have a little more, but that's all you really need is 50 to 100 uh, and you could obtain that, you know, some Christmas money you may get, a part-time job, or selling your own sneaker collection. Um, it's I would have enough, you know, as much capital as you can invest uh, into this business, um, you know, as much as you feel comfortable investing uh, from the start. Because, you know, the more money you have, the more inventory, the more shoes you can get, and the more profit you can make. Let's move on to some starting supplies. It's pretty simple. Um, so tape, you can buy like a roll of three. Uh, packing tape dispensers for about ten dollars boxes you can get them free uh, probably from a UPS store um, a USPS or just go to a you know a local store and ask you know if, if you could take some of the boxes I'm sure they'll love for you to take them because they have to pay for them to be shipped the way um, and now a printer now if you have a printer that's even you know it's even better but you don't have to have one if you can find a way to print it whether you're at your school at your work wherever if you, if you can print the shipping labels that are definitely ideal uh, makes things a lot faster and a lot more smooth. Now, if you have your own printer, it's definitely faster. Like for me, I have a label printer. This cost me about one hundred twenty dollars. Plus, I got five hundred papers, uh, which you know cost me about ten to fifteen dollars. Uh, but you can find them for about ninety dollars. You can buy a regular printer. Um, that's ninety dollars. However, that does require the paper and the ink. Uh, and my label printer doesn't require any ink, so I bought it for one hundred twenty dollars. And that's the much I'm gonna you know have to put into it. You know, besides the papers, but five hundred papers for like ten fifteen dollars is really really good. Uh, and I'll never go back. I, I was I really love using it. it. Saves me a lot of time. You know, and it looks more professional for me to stick an actual shipping label on there uh, instead of you know you know taping paper on there. But if you don't have the budget, don't worry about it. You can definitely find other ways to print your label. And moving on to some apps you need, I would highly suggest uh, downloading Sneakers, StockX, eBay, and Goat. They're all free on the on all app stores for all different phones. Um, sneakers, you can get a lot of a lot of exclusive Nike drops that are going to resell for a high profit. StockX, you can StockX is like a is like the global market for all sneakers. Uh, you know, tell you what they're selling for. Uh, you know, the prices, the release date, all that. eBay, eBay is a great way to sell and buy sneakers. Uh, and I'll get into that a little later. And Goat, Goat is another like StockX kind of market area. Uh, however, you can sell used shoes on Goat, which is pretty cool as well. Um, Goat isn't as like solidified as StockX. I still prefer selling on StockX, but Goat is definitely a good way to go as well. Now, in terms of, of some additional things, you don't need right off the start, but I would recommend building if you guys are you know thinking long term. So a cook group, I'm in a cook group right now. It costs me twenty dollars a month, uh, and it's and it's great. I get all the links, uh, any shock drops, any brick flip opportunities. Uh, I get a link right away, and I can go uh, buy it because in this game. Sneakers sell out within seconds, guys. You really need to be fast and be on top of, of the game, on top of the information. And a cook group is definitely the way to go. There's plenty of them out there, and they you know can range between twenty to a hundred dollars, depending on um, you know what you're willing to spend. I just spend twenty dollars a month, and I think it's one of the best cook groups out there, uh, and it's very very helpful to me in buying my stock. Now, another thing you can do is an Instagram page. I have an Instagram page, Valued Kicks. Um, you don't need this right off the start, but if you are looking to build a brand, I highly suggest starting it as early as you can. Um, and it's also a good way to keep track of your inventory. You know, if you want to keep track of all the sneakers you moved, you know, for what prices, etc. Instagram page is a good way to do it. You know, if someone hits you up on eBay and ask what you know, what are the shoes you have, you can send them to the Instagram page and they can look at there. And then a brand, you know, goes to the Instagram page. Uh, if you are, you, you know, if you guys are thinking long term, a brand is definitely a good idea to start. It is not too early to start one. Now, there's four approaches to sneaker reselling. First is botting, uh, brick flipping, beaters and used sneakers, as in like buying them, and then limited releases, like I, I said before, like on, uh, like on Nike sneakers. Adidas has, uh, you know, limited uh, releases in the Yeezys. Uh, so those are kind of the four approaches you can take to reselling. Uh, there's definitely a large market in in all of these. Uh, so let's move on. Now, moving on the botting, this is I know the least amount. Um, but however, it's definitely a great way to obtain sneakers if you guys get it right. Now, it's an automated shopper, so pretty much you can set what shoe you want, the time it wants to buy, you got delays, uh, and the sizes you can get. Um, and it, but it's very difficult to use. Um, you know, bots are very hard to program, and it's also a risk of getting banned, getting your IP address banned. So you got to buy proxies on top of that, and it's also expensive upfront cross. Uh, you know, some of the you know, best bots in the game are selling for three to five thousand dollars, and that's a very expensive upfront cost. 
Uh, if you do get one when they drop it, people resell bots as well. But if you do manage to buy one for five hundred to a thousand dollars on drop, then you know that's that's good. But it's definitely a risk of getting banned. You got to buy proxies, and it's a lot of effort to use them, and they're not guaranteed. So if you invest all this money in a bot and you don't get a drop, then you're losing out money on there. Um, and then, but it does give the ability to buy in bulk. Um, you know, buying a bulk is great. You know, I could maybe get one sneaker going manual, but if you're really good at body, you could get four or five sneakers delivered to your house, and you know, that's more profit and more inventory for you to move. Now, it comes to brick flipping. This is one of my favorite ways. Um, I'm not in an area currently where there's a lot of outlet and retail, you know, retail stores near me, so I really just brick flip online. Uh, what you can do is go to like Nike Outlet, Adidas Outlet, retail stores, and you know, check. Check the sneakers on StockX, see what they're going for. If you can make a profit, then go ahead and buy them and sell them. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple there. And sometimes you'll be able to get more than one pair. You know, Nike's going to pick up on this. So I know at Nike outlets, you can only get like five items per shoe. So you only get like five of that one shoe. If you find three shoes, you can make, you know, $10, $20 on. You buy 15 of them. Um, you know, it's a pretty good profit there. You're making... You can make $300 in a day, and that's and that's very, very good. Uh, and then also cashback opportunities. I recommend you guys downloading Rakuten. Um, like right now, I believe Rakuten has like a 12% uh, cashback on Nike, which is absolutely huge, especially like, you know, some of the prices that they're at. And, you know, if you buy a sneaker that it has, you know, you flip it for 10 extra dollars, you know, if you buy it for 180 and you sell it for 190 but if you get 12% cash back, the 10% profit is now over $20. And, though, and those little... Um, profits add up and you can take that money and reinvest it now look to find a brick flip item you may strike out on outlet stores and you know retail stores um you know the some days you could walk out with 15 pairs so you just got to find uh sneakers that are usually like, like high stock and high demand um you know maybe the demand is a little lower than the stock but if you find the right buyer they're willing to pay it for a premium price now when it comes to beaters i've just been getting into this one too because it's definitely a large market for this because people don't really have the money to buy a dead stock sneaker and now dead stock means brand new um so you know they might want to buy a nine out of ten condition for you know a hundred dollars under what a brand new pair would you know would cost just because it's one dirt stain on the bottom or you know what you know whichever way uh, they are affected but you buy used shoes. Uh, it does require physical labor. I recommend buying them, uh, cleaning them up, fixing them up. You know, do what you're capable. Don't try to do like a whole, like a you know like an all out like revamp of the shoe, fix every little thing, um, because you got to take in you know you know count of your time plus the profit you're gonna make. So you guys can figure that on yourself. And just be cautious of buying fakes. You know, if you don't buy from Nike and Adidas, where you're guaranteed you know authentic sneakers. If you buy from like eBay or Mercari. Um, or offer up, you just gotta be very cautious of fakes. So before you make a purchase, uh, I'd recommend downloading Check Check. Um, it's an authenticated, you know, sneaker authenticating. It's like a dollar for every, you know, for every authentication process that that you do. However, you know, spending that one dollar could save you two hundred dollars in the long run. Uh, it's definitely a good idea to get that. And then also the cost of supplies of, of, of cleaning supplies. You can buy thirty dollars in, in, in cleaning supplies and clean fifty shoes. So that's not really that big of a deal. However, if you don't have the money, then you can just, you know, maybe buy them, brush them off with a toothbrush, and maybe make 20 extra dollars than what you bought them for. Definitely a good flip there, and there's a lot of brick flip beater opportunities. Now, finally, this is what everybody really knows, like the limited releases. Um, like I said, manual is tough. It, you know, having a bot is definitely ideal in terms of these releases because they go really, really quick. They sell within a couple minutes. Um, so, so pretty much limited releases have low stock and high demand. So that's where the premium price comes in. You know, the demand is higher than the stock. So, you know, you know, once people get their payless for retail, the people who don't get them will have to pay the premium price and let you step in with your sneaker and sell it, you know, for $60, $100 over uh, the retail price. Now, these releases are most profitable. As you can see here, we have a Jordan 1 Lucky. You know, all Jordan 1s sell like $60, $80 above retail. Uh, it's definitely a great way to go about it, but they are hard to get. So I would not only, I, so I wouldn't limit yourself to just these kind of releases. I would definitely dip it in the brick flip. Um, I would definitely, you know, buy used shoes and clean them. And I would also definitely look into botting for sure if you really want to step up your game. Now, where to sell? What you do, buy your sneakers. Where to sell them is very important. Now, eBay and local meetups, they have a 0% seller's fee. Uh, which is very, very ideal. eBay, if you sell for over $100, 0% seller's fee. And, and now they have a over $200 authentication, uh, which is completely free as of right now. Uh, you know, if you sell a sneaker for, for under or for over uh, $200, they will authenticate it for you. Um, so the buyer knows that they're buying a legit authentic product. Uh, Grail is another great spot to sell it and build connections. However, they take a 9% fee. And StockX and Goat, 
Um, they take 12%. Um, so I'd not recommend selling on those sites. I'd only recommend, um, you know, looking at them, see what the prices are, and listing them whether on the Instagram page, uh, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace, or even Grailed. So I'd kind of use them as like a database for your sneaker. Now, if you guys, you know, if you guys are going to sell on eBay, which I almost strictly sell on eBay now because the seller's free is, is zero. Um, now, these are kind of the pictures you guys want to take. Now, my background is not very good. I'm working on, you know, making like a box. I can put them in with better lighting. But this is kind of ideal. So you want a picture of like the whole sneaker I have on the left. And then you have more pictures. Picture of the box for sure. You know, picture of the sole to make sure that they're brand new. And then over here on the right you know, taking a picture of the tag, it really helps with the buyer knowing that they're buying an authentic product because they can look at the code on the tag uh, and they, you know, they know that they can trust you from buying from you. And now the more sales you make, the more trusted you will be. So the much easier it will be to move product. Uh, I moved these, I posted these pictures and I moved these sneakers uh, within like 20 minutes. I made about $50 on them. Very, very good sale. Um, yeah, so just keep in mind of these pictures definitely refer back to this video if you guys are taking pictures because pictures are very very important to make your sneakers stand out above the rest. Now the last tip I can give you guys is reinvest all your profit. Uh, you want to move your inventory uh, quickly. Now I like to not tax people which means I don't like to you know post my sneakers for as much as I can possibly get out of them. I like to drop the price you know maybe below what some of the market value is but so I can still make a profit I can make the sale within maybe even hours a day or two. Um, you know, I can ship it off, you know, you know, the quicker the money comes back into my account and the quicker I can buy more shoes with that profit. Uh, it's all about building your inventory, moving products quickly and, you know, make as much money as you can, like as fast as you can so you can buy more shoes and make more sales. Um, you definitely want to build your inventory so you make more profit the more inventory you can build. Um, and then you want to invest in your craft, whether it's taking pictures, your, your brand, your Instagram page, communicating, you know, with people, making connections, all that, all that is very important to this game. Uh, and make connections. I mean, this sneaker market is huge. Uh, there's definitely plenty of connections we make out there. If you build a brand on Instagram, get in engagement groups. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make a TikTok. Just make your brand known, and you know, and, and make connections like with people that can help you in the long run. You know, maybe work on some sneaker deals. Um, that you know that I benefit both parties. Just make connections is very very crucial. And that's all I really got for you guys in the video today. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, be much appreciated. And, and stay tuned because I release sneaker resale videos just about every upcoming sneaker release. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Alright guys, before I head out, I just want to shout out Hype Streepwear. Um, he helped me with some of the images and some of the information on the video. Um, if you guys can go give him a follow, he has great, great content. He's a bunch of heat for sale for absolute steals. So I highly recommend go follow him. Uh, he posts just about every day. His inventory is moving just about every day. He has new products coming in just about every day. I'll go ahead and give him a follow, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.